Uh, I'm a professional kite flyer and I'm a senior here at uh, WSU in the uh, Digital Technology and Culture program. Um, and I've been flying kites uh, since 2005. I think probably my, uh, my greatest experience uh, flying kites was when I went to Singapore. Uh, I was there for about a month and I, for the first nine days I was there with, uh, with my mom and uh, she'd never been out of the country or anything so that was cool for her. Um, and we were at the HDB Hub, which is this, it's a bit of a lower end kind of uh, shopping mall. Um, and so I was there for like eight hours a day, uh, flying indoors with some other, other kite flyers, um, with the whole mall crowd as an audience. We had the two, two stores, the balcony, and, and all of that, so that was uh, a lot of fun. And then I, I had a few days break, um, and I went to, you know, meet with a lot, of, there's a lot of local kite flyers in, in Singapore, and so I went to go fly with some of them, uh, and I took a cute intern girl on a date, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and then the next, the final nine days that I was there, uh, a few friends of mine came in from the U.S., and uh, we went to fly at uh, the Ion Orchard, which is this big, like, really fancy shopping mall. Um, and uh, we were flying in front of, like, Dior and Dolce & Gabbana and um, all these other like really big name high-end places um, and so I spent a lot of my time during those last nine days with my friends traveling around Singapore and eating a lot of really awesome food and all of these like exotic fruits and uh, and things like that and uh, flying with some, a lot of locals we actually set up a mega fly so I think we had maybe maybe 50 kite flyers or so but uh, yeah, so then came back home and things continued as normal.